Six girls versus one. I am a girl. 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 I like it. I like it. I am a girl. I am a girl. My sandwich is here. I'm Claire. I'm from Huntington Beach, and I'm 24. I'm Hania. I'm 26, and I'm from Inglewood. I'm Sang. Um, I'm 23, and I'm from Long Beach, California. I'm Mia. I'm 19, and I'm from Pasadena, California. I'm Celeste. I'm 19, and I'm from Culver City, California. I'm Casey. I'm 18, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. My name is Natalie, but you can call me Nat. I am from Los <laughs> here for work Ooh, but wow. yeah for the most part my technique coming in with it is like a more masculine take on it because if I was too girly then it would be too obvious. Ooh, that's sm I'm in he some samba I hope black he wins and like a like greenish top okay. from okay. Zara mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm wearing Levi's well, he better have um, a good answer ready a, like bodysuit and then dunks and a little cardigan too I'm wearing like a purple skirt like a white off the shoulder top kind of Let's go like, what's everyone's shoe size? Ooh. Ooh. I'm a size 10. 10? Yeah, 10 in women. How tall are you? 5'10". Oh, Ooh, okay. yeah, so that makes sense. Whoa. I'm a short girly. I'm 4'11 without these heels on. <gasps> Damn. Uh, on a good day, I'm 5'4", though. I'm That's wearing cute. size 7.5. I think it's pretty mm. average yeah. for girls, I guess. Mm. I'm, I'm like 5'3". I'm a size 5'5". Five, five. Guys, I have a friend who's a size 4. Feet the size of my fucking hands, bro. I've never met someone size four. Is she a hobbit? No, I think Ray has similar size as me, I think. I'm six and a half, I think she's six, but this one is uh, one of my agents. Yeah. And to be fair, she do be a little shoddy. Like, she might be. <laughs> she's less than five feet tall. Five. She's really foot, cute, though. And I have a shoe size of nine, so. <laughs> I like how we all just started sharing our height. <laughs> Can I ask you guys something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's, like, your biggest insecurity? Ooh, Ooh, good question. Hard hitting. I was suspicious of Hania at first, just because she seemed to be asking a lot of the questions and having a lot. You of always get one of those discussion. in these I got a big groups. for it. And they're usually I'm never for everyone the with imposter. a regular forehead because <laughs> y'all sound like y'all got regular forehead. Like I'm getting regular forehead energy here. At least she's cute. <laughs> laughing was a big thing. I like that he's doing this. I mean, they were laughing a ton, and I was trying to, I was trying to like, <laughs> it just didn't work out. <laughs> so yeah, I was trying my best. That's so good. The biggest thing for me is acne. I have it on my face and my back, and it's. I was trying to. Bad, uh huh. So I want to go to the beach, so it can be pretty annoying. Mm -hmm. That's I a good a, answer. I have another question. Yeah. What's your like usual go-to style? Yeah. For me, not. I think I would say like an urban, like comfy style. I'm not super fancy as a person, so. Um, yeah, I'd say urban comfy. Whatever is currently yeah. in style, I try to stick to that. Yeah, for that's the most how part. I feel too. I mean, I try to keep mine just like timeless, wearing timeless like pieces that yeah. like. Mm -hmm. She just said what's in style now, and then you said me too. I like it when it's timeless. <laughs> is your Ah, they're actually the opposite thing. Keeping it tight. But that's Very okay. <laughs> I'm wearing a tank top right now, so it works out. What did you guys want to be when, like, you were a little girl? I really wanted to be a veterinarian. Same. I actually. really loved animals. I still love animals. I was a horse girl. I think I a lot of that. people actually, I have wanted to be a vet when they're so. young. Oh yeah. my gosh. One I of them's name that. is Scooby-Doo. <gasps> Scooby-Doo! Yeah. I love He's that. adorable. Does he actually have a I horse? I like, a speech for certain questions, but there were certain questions Whoa. that were just completely off what they He's were winning. Like, off the page. Like, the He's horses. He's winning. Thing. I just jumped in as soon as I could. I'm like, yeah, I have horses. I don't have horses. <laughs> For me, I've always wanted to be like a singer, a songwriter. Be an actor. So that's what I'm trying to do. It's like one of them is Scooby-Doo. So I'm assuming you can sing. Yeah, I do. I write my own songs and I like release them. Okay, so we're, we're gonna be like your first fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The show is after. That's yeah, so sure. cute. That'd be awesome. Casey's voice is kind of high. So it, it did make me a little suspect. I'm like, she kind of sounds like a princess from a Disney movie. And that doesn't just, Happen. I'm gonna I get my to be after Trish and got it through and I was freaking out and my friends were outside. So when I got home, I told my mom and she's just like shoved me a pad and said, Hey, try that, like put this on <laughs> and then here. She never I don't know, it's like maybe it's an Asian thing. She's just never talked to me about it. I think I was just seventh grade, I'm pretty sure. 
I was at home and I like went to the bathroom and I Yay. blood and I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to call my mom for some reason. Oh, I wonder so what Nat does like, for this. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, help me. And <laughs> I did, which was like the funny part. Like I don't know. I, and then I eventually told my mom like after her. But yeah, my cousin was the first one that knew. So I was in seventh grade math class, and it was super awkward. I was basically sitting at my desk. I felt he really asked weird, it like sensation below my stomach, and I was really confused because they were talking about interesting stuff in health class before that point. But mm. eventually, I just ran to the bathroom because I just didn't feel good. OK, there's no way one of you isn't that girl. That's crazy. I know. <laughs> you guys. I had no idea about anything involving periods or anything like that, so I just went with it. <laughs> Name something really specific He's that doing only so a well. girl will get. Like, specific. Don't just say pad. Um, I have really insane cramps, so I have Midol on me at all times. OK, that's specific, Midol. Um, mm -hmm. At all times, I have to have it. How do you know your period? Like, how do you know when your period's coming? I have really, really bad lower back pains, oh, yeah. and I'm like in pain for like two days before, mm -hmm. and I always get the same pimple around my lip area. Oh, the sweat is insane. Like, like right before my, cheek. my period. Is anyone irregular? Well, I started birth control, and like oh, yeah. it's really screwed me up. Like I started mm. the next plan on, so that's something another girl might specific. Everyone know. Yes, specific. Yes. Has anybody had any like scary experiences that they associate with being a woman? Oh like, yeah. Oh, oh, oh so yeah. Man. Hundred yeah. percent. <laughs> it's really not disgusting. Yes. Kind of what happens when you're just existing as a woman. One time at a college party, a guy talked to me for like two seconds, and then the next day I found out that he was telling everyone that I slept with him. What? Oh, yeah. um, you say yes as a woman, That's you're a whore, you say no as a woman, example. you're a prude. Mm -hmm. If you're somewhere in between, people still find a way to hate you. Yeah. So, so yep. true. Yeah. So true. I would say like the hypervigilance required to like go places by uh, yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And the little that. things we exactly. do that I don't know if everyone knows we do. Like, oh, let me just pretend that I'm playing music in my ears right. when ain't no music yeah. playing. Let me just hold the weather. Let me just put down on my phone. Ain't nobody oh, yeah. even telling me. The screen be black. It becomes normal. Me too. But Anytime I'm kind of scared. It's normal to always yeah. have to feel like mm -hmm. you have to protect yourself like a right. force field. Yeah. Do you guys know anyone or like Bro, you? Bro, you guys know I love to go on walks. Sometimes I'll just be walking down the street. Men will start shouting at me. Like shouting. Telling me to turn around. Trying to get my attention. I just keep walking. I pretend I can't hear a thing. I can't hear a fucking thing. Want to share like that has experienced sexual assault? Mm. Um, I'll, I'll volunteer myself. I've came so far to be able to volunteer myself publicly, and I'm proud of myself. You're I've proud experienced of you sexual too. assault, and I think it does have a very like it hawks your your growth as far as what you feel you should be mentally as a woman. But there's a lot of mm -hmm. emotional and spiritual things that you have to do in order to fully evolve to, to even volunteer yourself. Are they done playing? Send me a name. That, um, acknowledge that. The word survivor also is kind of like iffy for me, because I feel like, oh, like, oh, I survived that. Like, you yeah. know, like, it's almost like I'm pitying myself. I don't so know, this I don't is the one it, where like, it was a bunch of girls and, and then like, one person I don't even know, like, faking being a girl, which is the yeah. guy on the left, but they have like a voice changer for him. Don't rate a risk streamer. Why is it risky? Is it risky? You guys say the guy who was in was here earlier, but I thought it was a meme. Is I, I thought Nat was his. Was it actually that him? Him? Was out, so. yeah. Okay, to go a little bit deeper, because I need to figure. Wait, out that's his actual happened. voice. He just does How that. How do you guys feel about abortion? Oh. Wait, I had no idea. Um, <laughs> for me, I'm pro-choice. I believe everyone has the decision to do whatever they want with their body. I feel so bad. I thought you guys were joking the whole time because someone had that same username. Not that he was actually in the stream. Wait, he wasn't in the stream, right? You guys were just atting him. He plays Valorant like that? He was? I feel so bad. Then again, I was being pretty nice to him, so I think it's cool. Body Anyways, Nat, you're choice, very cool. Also exists pro life if you believe that you are pro-life for yourself. I feel like I would probably be pro-life for myself just because I, <sighs> I don't know. It's scary to go through just a medical procedure. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. If you do want to get an abortion, like you do, like it's fine. Like that's yeah. the whole point of pro-choice, I feel like. And the exactly. government shouldn't be the ones deciding, so. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Who's like a, oh my god, like for a, a second good, I thought like, you said, and the government should be the one deciding like anyways. Like they should. That's really life. good. Um, I don't want to be cliche, but I'm going to have to say my mother. Say Get it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, y'all thinking that too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, she blows. When the fuck did they vote Nat out?
like I'm pitying myself. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't even know what word. I made it past one round, that's what I came in here to do today. I'm actually- I'm so sad. Okay, I'm suspicious of somebody. Okay, go and for I it. I have a reason. Um, Hania? What's up? So you were quiet during the abortion topic. Mm -hmm. and to be fair, I do feel like it's very easy. Well, not very easy. I feel like this is a kind of test that girls would be really good at. Like, you can just tell when someone's a girl. There are certain topics that, unfortunately, I just have not been able to connect on with guys. And frankly, sometimes it's scary. Actually, it's kind of like when that girl was saying, uh, like, the BLM issues, how she felt not very supported by her partner. Like, it's kind of hard dating a guy and talking about women's issues and even if they want to be supportive sometimes like they just don't get it and i just like and like you've been kind of really talkative recently so like that kind of like red flagged me a little bit it's oh let me fix that up for you so <laughs> um i also did i mentioned that i am a survivor of assault so abortion usually gets me really choked up i feel like it's my body and Aww. it's my choice so the whole conversation when well, it's the I, same when the I other way around about too. it, That's it, it does give me a little true. trigger. So I usually... Well, I'm curious for you guys, are there specific issues that pertain to men that you feel like your girlfriend wouldn't be able to empathize or sympathize Frame from in regards to? Heavily, like, and if so, what are those things? What I have to say about it. That's but I'm, I'm mad at you though, girl. Sure. <laughs> okay, okay, green flag. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wait, Casey, were you the... Um, songwriter? Yes. Okay. Can I ask you something, like, Casey? What? Yes. Guys, I'm not talking about getting hit in the ball. I'm talking about, like, important issues. Getting hit in the plums. You know what? What I'm is so the, done the metal you U shaped thing in your bra? Do you know what that's called? I don't know what that's called. Oh, oh an I underwire? <laughs> the underwire? Yeah, the underwire. Oh, in your the bra. underwire. I thought you meant something else because that's like on both cups. What's something people expect that, you to be like, like a macho man? You wish yeah, isn't you that what they call toxic masculinity? Like, I'm I think expectations it. would be one of the Oh my gosh, so real. Yep. So yeah, real. Mustache sweat. <laughs> <laughs> When Hania asked the question about underwire on the bra, I didn't know the answer, so I was like, okay, they're gonna vote me out. I knew it. <laughs> I just wanna see the final reveal. <laughs> I can't wait to watch them do the voice. I really thought they had like some sort of a voice no, change on them. It's, it's a weird experience, what? but no. It starts up here, it's cool. It goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa! What? <laughs> what? I oh my that. god. Nat looks like he was in like High School Musical or something, like Camp Rock. So when I opened my eyes and saw Zac Efron, I was like, okay. You got me. Like, I really feel like I've been bamboozled. I do a YouTube channel, and so oh. I used to do, like, Omegle content, and then I went to, like, oh. some gaming stuff, and so, yeah, that's oh, what I do for a That's That's so Whoa! No. I am flabbergasted. <laughs> Wait, no. Did you want to hear him do no. that again? No. No, honestly, it's, it's a weird experience, what? but no. No, like, when I tell you that is the best like male to female voice I've ever heard in my life. <gasps> no, what? honestly, it's it's a weird experience, what? but no. It starts up here, it's cool. It goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, it's a little that bit better than like my deep voice. He was in like high school musical or something, like Camp Rock. Wait, no, did you ask a period question? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's exactly wow. what we're teaching. Oh, yeah. ah. Whoa. Uh, being 6'4", I felt like I was already out of my element, so I had to- It's like, actually even funnier because he's be so tall. I was scared coming into this because I didn't want to fall into Top 32 this year's streamer so no, camp? I, I didn't know that either. That's me. so cool. I don't want, like, no one wants that. No one wants to be assumed. I was thinking about just busting out different voices. Like, oh my god, you have no idea. No! Just, uh, oh, you got accents yeah. too? Oh no, I got you. Because like I'll do an Australian, but I also do like a it's it's quite weird. <laughs> you should be a voice actor. I, I was thinking about it, yeah. <laughs> he already is.